Hello, welcome to this tutorial on how to design your graphic using the peak app. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to design simple graphics using the peak app. And if you don't have peak app, peak app is just the app. Sorry, peak app is just here. This is the peak app. If you don't have it, go right to the Play Store or Apple Store and download the app. The app has both its free and its paid version, but it will consistently be telling you to start your free trial where you put your card and you will pay for it, but you don't need to pay for it until you are satisfied that you want all the fixtures before you pay for it. Okay, here I'll teach you now how do I use Peak App. First of all, you download it on your phone. You register with whatsoever, either your Facebook or your, your Google Gmail. Then after that, whenever you want to design, you don't go over to Peak Hat to open. Whenever you want to design, you don't go over to Peak Hat to open it. You go to your gallery. You go to your gallery. For instance, now I want to design. I will look for my gallery. Here is my gallery. I look for my gallery in my phone. I'll click on it. It will show me all my pictures. But which of these pictures exactly I want to use? I'm looking for. Okay, I don't have a plain background. What I'm looking for is a plain background I'm looking for. So I'll go back and go to Google. I'm starting from the very scratch and I'll be very fast so that this video will not be too long. I'll go down to Google to download a background. I can put church, church background, church background. If I want to design a church flyer. Okay, possibly I look at all the backgrounds. I might not like anyone here. I don't like anyone here. So I quickly go over to maybe plain background or yellow background. So as anything you want to do, just type it background, yellow, background. Okay, maybe with flower. Okay. So these are all backgrounds. So you look at what you want to design. Is it connected with this? Okay, if it is, if it is, then you click any of them. But if it's not, you keep on looking. Let me click on this one. You keep on looking for. So now I'll download this background. I'll download this background by Pressing on it, you see the download button. I download it and it has gone over to my gallery. So I'll go to the gallery and click on it. Here's the background. So I'll click on the share button. Look at your share button. I'll click on the share button just right here. The share button just right under here so i'll click on that button and by the time i click on the share button it will take me to this space so please watch carefully because this is how you use pick hat without paying for it i'll click on pick hat because that is where i want to create this design okay here yeah, now we have pick hat and you can see that the is showing me under this let me draw it it's showing me this under and i don't want this white background and the name under so what i'll do is to quickly crop this is the crop button i'll quickly crop here's a crop button i'll click on crop it will show me different shapes what shapes do I want? If I want square, you can see that I click on square and mark it. 
you mark up you look up you see the good sign you mark it from there okay this is what i want to use for my design and if i look at this background very well i can see that it seems these have some write up inside okay but we'll just use it for the purpose of this training i don't like using background that i already have what would we call have my have writings inside okay now i come to this place i want to look for what to a picture but okay, let me go back so that i'll tell you exactly what to do okay i want to add if i want to add text which is right up to this i click on text this is text down here so maybe I want to put hello good morning I put the text and I move up and mark it immediately so this is it okay possibly I want to put a name of an organization or a church if this is a church flyer I want to put faith cathedral cathedral okay then this is it you can put it wherever you can reduce it okay possibly I don't like the font I want to change the font size the font style you see just on the You see it under here. Sorry, look at them. If you keep on scrolling right or left, you see more. So look at them, just watch under. It keeps on showing you, but some are paid for. So any of them you see the crown sign. Any of them you see the crown sign means you have to pay to use it. And it will insist you pay because you cannot save your design if you don't pay for it. So these are some of the ways to use this free app. You look for the one that is without the current sign. So it has changed its font. Then possibly I want to do some other things with it. If you want to change the color, it's just right here on the... That's where you can change the color from. Okay, so if I want to make it black, how to make it red, whatever color you want to make it can quickly. Then here you also have the color palette. The color palette. Let me draw what I call the color palette. This is the color palette. If you click on it, on this, it will show you this color. So here you have the free will to choose which color you want. You see, it has changed to this because some of the colors are not listed in this place. So you need to click on the color palette to know which color to use. If you this, it changes. So whatever color you want to use, you can easily do that using the color palette. But let's use, okay, we have a yellow background. Let's use red to see. Okay. Fit Cathedral. Okay, this is red. So the other things you might want to do, just click on it for it. If you really want to change the what you have written, you must click on it. Then I want to use stroke. Look at stroke on the this thing is blocking it. Okay, that's stroke. If I click on stroke, it shows me this bar. So you see, as I move it, it either show is changing so if you want this change you keep it if you don't want it you return it but if you want this change like this if you want it to look like this you can keep it then other thing you need to do if you want to put shadow you can see that shadow okay if you like it you keep it 
then work again if you want to bend this right up now you want to bend it as you move this you bend if you want to bend it this way so if you just want to leave it like this okay perfection comes by learning and pra constant practice so as you keep on practicing this you keep on being a guru in it so because i don't want this video to be too long it's already 10 minutes i don't want it to be way more than possibly 15 minutes you will try this hat and you do some homework then if you want to add pictures to this just click on photo honda then you can add pictures so i have this picture here i want to add this picture when you click on the picture you use the button up to put add you add it up look at this so i have my picture and look at the picture is just right here but because this picture has background and i would not like to use it like this so i will have to go to google to remove the background of this picture and this is what i do the design is still on but i'll go to google through and i use remove.ng to remove background Although there are apps you can use for it, but I prefer to go through Google so that I don't have too many apps on my phone. So I click on upload pic image. Remember, I want to remove the background of this. Okay, I click on remove image. So there are several images on my on my phone. So which exactly do I want to remove? I go to the gallery, you can see it. So it removed the background for me. I download it. So I quickly go back to the pick hat. Remember, you don't click on pick hat. If you click on it, if you click on it, it will show you to pay. So what I do, I look for my previous apps that are open. I know possibly your phone should have it. Here you can check on previous apps that are open. I click on what I've been designing. I go back to add photo. I add this. I click up to add it. You can see that the photo is here. So this is the photo. If I want to crop this, possibly I don't want it to show up. I click on crop. So you can see what we look like in the back. So this is just it. Then all the things I might want to add. If I want to add the lens, this one, you click on it. You see there's a glittering sign. These churches mostly use this. See if you want to expand it so that if you want to reduce okay then what else do you want to do okay so just practice this i'll send it in another video and the completion of how to design a flyer is so that the video will be short and it will be easy to watch and learn have a wonderful time and ask any question you have concerning this so remember when you mark this it's thick then how do you save let me quickly show you how to save you click on the sign up you click on the sign up to save so it saves and rather than going back all you just need to do is to move yourself out from the app thank you very much
and do work and 